Hi guys, today I wanted to tell you a little bit about a wonderful person, a saint of our church who's commemorated today, and his name is Saint Dorotheus of Gaza, or Abba Dorotheus. Abba just means father. And Dorotheus, actually, does anybody know what that means? It means gift of God. Saint Dorotheus lived about 1500 years ago, which is a long time ago, and he's from what's now modern day Syria which is in the Middle East, really far away from where we are here. And St. Dorotheus was born to very rich, wealthy parents who gave him a great education, and he eventually became a doctor. But he strived to live a good life, and he had this, this yearning, this desire in his heart to become um, dedicated to Christ, to just give his whole life to Christ, to his God. And so he decided to pursue that by becoming a monk, which means that he would live, he wouldn't be married, he wouldn't have a, a wife or children, he would live his whole life dedicated to God in what's called a monastery, which is a group of other people who also want to be monks just like him. So he went and he became a monk, but because he was so smart and because he was so well educated, he had a lot of problems with other people because he thought that he knew better. So when the abbot the, the head of the monastery decided that he wanted to do something, Abba Dorotheus or Father Dorotheus would say, actually, I think we should do it this way. And this got him into a lot of trouble. And eventually he started to realize that he needed to humble himself. He needed to learn humility because he didn't know everything. And even though he was smart, it didn't mean that he had to kind of be proud about being smart and get all puffed up and want to show everybody how much he knew because he realized that that wasn't the point of life. The point of life was to love God and to love his neighbor. But this problem that he had with other people where he would kind of bother other people and other people would bother him, this followed him almost to the end of his life. And that's why he came up with this teaching, which a lot of you probably have heard about, which is it, it, this picture of a wheel. So imagine a wheel, like a bicycle wheel or one of those old-fashioned wheels on wagons where you have... The wheel is like this, and then in the middle, there's the center of the wheel, and then there are all those spokes, right? And uh, he taught that at the center of the wheel is God, and that we're all around the edges of the wheel. And like spokes, we all try to get closer to God. But he said, the more you get closer to God, if you think about it, just like spokes of a wheel, what happens to the other spokes? They get closer to each other. So he said, if you want to love your neighbor, then you should get closer to God, and then you'll automatically start to love your neighbor. And if you want to love God, uh, then you should try to get closer to your neighbor, and you'll automatically love God. So it's a beautiful teaching that he talked about loving your neighbor and love God, loving God. And so I think just one thing to remember about St. Dorotheus is that just like we struggle with loving our brothers or sisters or mommies or daddies, St. Dorotheus, who is a saint, who was a holy person, struggled with that too. But he overcame that through humility, through saying that he didn't know everything and that he needed God's help. And that he taught us that the more that we come closer to God and that we love God in our hearts, the more that we will love our brothers and sisters and the less that they will annoy us and the less that we'll annoy them. Okay, guys, have a wonderful day and talk to you next time.